If you use force to effectuate objects, good or bad, there is going to be a loss of freedom. The thing that, about the welfare state is that when you start on this route, everything goes fine. To begin with, you are imposing taxes on 90% of the people, small taxes, and are able to give considerable benefits to 10% of the people. But the problem is that as time goes on, more and more people come in and either express a desire or given a chance at a part of the proceeds. So you gradually get to the position where 50% of the people are providing benefits to uh, other 50% of the people, and then you ultimately get to the position where 100% of the people are paying taxes in order to provide benefits to 100% of the people. And you are then in that situation, which uh, Frederick Bastiat described so well 150 years ago, when he said that government is that fiction whereby everybody believes he can live at the expense of everybody else. The question remains, however, what goes wrong? Why is it that such noble objectives lead to such disappointing results? After all, the objective of promoting the welfare of the ordinary man, of eliminating poverty and disease, providing security for old age and against mishaps of fortune. Those are noble objectives. I do not believe that there is anybody who can regard them as undesirable. Why is it that the attempt to effectuate such noble objectives by using the machinery of government tends to produce results which are so disappointing. In my opinion, the fundamental answer is very simple. Using government to achieve these objectives means trying to do good with someone else's money. And when you try to do good with someone else's money, there are two basic flaws in the process. The first of those is that nobody spends somebody else's money as carefully as he spends his own. And therefore, you are going to have waste and ultimately fiscal catastrophe. But the second is that you cannot do good with someone else's money unless you first take it away from them. And therefore, force, coercion, sending a policeman around to pick somebody else's pocket, is at the very heart of the welfare state. And the situation becomes one in which bad means corrupt the good intentions. It's when you try to use bad means to achieve good objectives, the end result is likely to be that the badness of means will triumph over the goodness of the objectives.